Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I created this very grungy, super fall look. I am obsessed with looks like this. I usually, this is like my go-to fall look, but if you guys wanna see how I created this super cute fall look, then go ahead and keep on watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Maybelline 24 hour foundation and we're gonna do about three pumps of that on the back of our hands like so. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start dabbing it. If you guys hear noises, I'm sorry. Um, my dad is doing a lot of renovations to our house. So they're working on it right now. I'm taking it down the neck. And I'm taking a very dirty beauty blender that I should have cleaned before filming, but it is what it is. I'm actually gonna try to do this as fast as possible. I have to go to a dinner in a little bit with a very good friend of mine. So yeah, a lot of people have been asking me as to why like I haven't filmed lately and to be honest um I just haven't been in the mood to film I've been kind of going through like a creator's block if you would want to say I just I haven't I don't know like I can't come up with any new looks and I haven't posted like on my makeup Instagram either but I do blame like my anxiety and you know stuff like that my um, for people that don't know my boyfriend left to boot camp and he's been gone for almost two months so I just been kind of like preoccupied with that like you know with making sure that I take our dog to walks and I've been going to his sister's, you know, volleyball games and hanging out with my, you know, mother-in-law and father-in-law and his family are very, very supportive and I love them to death and they've been helping me a lot. This foundation, sorry, I'm like looking at my little screen. My room's a hot mess, by the way. Anyways, um, this foundation I love. I've used it in my previous videos and I just recently got this shade just because the shade that I had before it was way too light for me and yeah so now we're using this one make sure we're blending that out but anyways I've been you know hanging around well I mean I normally would hang a lot with them I would go over every single day pretty much live there but we've been um pretty busy with the dogs and you know they've been helping me distract myself it's not easy it's something that's very hard um the friend that i'm about to hang out with her boyfriend actually left with my boyfriend so they're in the same platoon and everything which is cool you know so anyways this seems like we've buffed this in all the way now we're gonna take i wonder if you can hear my laptop i'm my room is like Full Halloween mode. I don't know if you guys could see it. Oh, yeah um, Like full Halloween mode If you guys don't know that I am a huge Halloween fan. Well now, you know um, People that know me personally They know that like I'm big on Halloween like very very big on Halloween and it's actually my favorite holiday um, This year I've actually added a lot more things to my room and yeah like i just want to get that halloween fall vibe in my room so it's all it's all back there but next we're gonna take the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer by too faced this concealer is freaking bomb like i love this concealer it gives me like the tart shape tape consistency and you get a lot more in here. I forgot how much the price was, but it's good. This one's a little white. I just didn't know how to match myself, but 
I mean, I do know. It's just that they didn't have a shade that I liked because after these ones, they were like a little too like warm for me. So yeah, same thing. We're just gonna blend this out. But yeah, I mean, that's the reason why I haven't filmed. I've just been kind of dealing with a lot of anxiety of not having my boyfriend here and you know, missing him and whatnot and what goes on with that. But he comes home soon, which I'm really excited about. And I'll probably film like a advice video for girls whose boyfriends have also left to like the military and like my tips and like, you know, just whatever, like my feelings and whatever I went through with my boyfriend and like how I felt about it, how I dealt with it, what made me feel better. But ooh, yeah, um, it's been hard, but I'm slowly coming back. I actually, started going to the gym every day. I will skip like maybe one or two days, but I've been pretty consistent about it. I've been eating really, really clean too, just because um, he's gonna come back looking all cute. And I'm over gonna, like I'm over here gonna look freaking fat and shit next to him. And you know, we don't want that. So just kidding. No, for real though, I, I did it. Cause I, I wanna be healthy. Like I wanna, you know, have a decent you know body to where i could be like yeah like i'm healthy i work out like whatever i don't want to be like super super fit but i do want to be able to have a nice body and wear whatever i want and not feel insecure about it you know but i mean if y'all feel good in what you wear then you you go girl like you you wear what you want to wear and as long as you feel good in it you are good to go. Me, on the other hand, I'm very insecure about that aspect, but we are working on it. And I feel motivated because, you know, he's over there busting his ass, you know, doing what he has to do through boot camp. So that, that's what motivates me and keeps me going. But that's all nice and blended. Now I'm going in with the master... Fix by Face Studio Maybelline. I don't know. It's it's this whole freaking thing. It's their translucent powder. I really like this. Pretty affordable. I've had it for a while. I really, really like it. But oh I forgot to mention before I started putting my foundation on, I was already primed and moisturized. Um a lot of people actually have been messaging me and asking if I have like some routine, like if I personally have like a nighttime routine or like, you know, skincare routine. I really don't, I should, but I really don't. Um, actually, like, all I use is um, to like moisturize during the day. Ooh, there's powder everywhere. I use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is like the travel size one. Um, I normally would get like the regular like moisturizing, like. What is it? I don't know what it's called, but it's not the gel. It's the other one. I normally would use that one. But this past time that I went to Sephora, I bought that one. And I really, really like because I get oily during summer. So that actually keeps me pretty matte. But um, yeah, I use that to moisturize. My face wash is First Aid Beauty. It's their cleanser. I use that every morning, every night. I never skip washing my face i always wash my face so i do that nighttime wise you know i wash my face whatever and then i use i have a mario budescu night cream for under my eyes and my whole face and sometimes i'll do serums like the farsali gold elixir i'll use that one if i'm feeling like extra extra dry but other than that i really don't have like a nighttime routine or you know a skincare routine my skin has been clearing up a lot just because i have been drinking a gallon of water a day so that's definitely been a huge thing like i my face has been clearing up a lot so now i am taking the la girl pro concealer in espresso looks like this we're gonna do a little bit of cream contouring i don't like to go crazy on this but I just kind of like tap it right there, like so. 
and we're gonna take it under our chin you know we try to hide that double chin that we're trying to get rid of just kind of drag it down and some on our temple and forehead I hope I'm talking loud enough I feel like I'm not and I don't want to be too loud because it's like awkward you know like I don't want my dad coming in here and being like what are you doing anyways so now I'm taking a morphe m436 brush it's like a little small duo fiber brush and we're just gonna like pat this in I don't really like like to swirl whenever I do cream contouring I just like to like slowly work it into the skin like that You know, some people go in like that. I don't like doing that. I feel like it takes away the foundation. But we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'm actually gonna fast forward this part, but you get the point. Okay, now that we're all done with that, I'm just taking a big pad brush and wiping off that bake. If anyone's curious, if you could hear my laptop, I'm watching my freaking bra's pissing me off. I'm watching um, the Mickey's House of Mouse Halloween edition. This was this was my shit when I was little. All right, cool. Now that that's done, I am now taking the Mac Give Me Sun bronzer. And I'm taking that on a Morphe M M328 brush. And we just gonna swirl that around. Tap off the excess. Okay, my hair is honestly pissing me off. And we're just gonna go in and bronze up that face on top of that cream contour. If you guys see me like looking up there, it's because I have my screen on there. So I need to see what I'm doing. Even though I have the mirror right here, I just want to make sure that everything looks good. So this is like my actual first like talk through, like get ready with me video. I usually just do voiceovers. I normally do voiceovers just because I'm really busy. So it's like easier for me to just throw some like, you know, Netflix on and just get ready fast and not having to explain what I'm doing like at the moment So I've been doing that but today I have a little extra time just a tiny bit so I decided that You know we're gonna do that So I'm actually really excited because this is my first fall tutorial I'm actually um, already gonna start filming my Halloween looks. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them down in the comment section. And I will definitely look into them and try to recreate whatever you guys want me to recreate. But I already have a few in mind. So we're just going to do that. I don't wanna do any like crazy contouring just more so like bronzing up next i am taking my current favorite blush and it is the mac side so side show you blush from the simpson collection it is limited edition they don't have it anymore but it is this really pretty like 
pinky, like peachy, corally, um, like satin finish blush. And I'm taking it on a Morphe E3 brush. And we're gonna apply that to the apples of our cheeks and work it back. So this look that I'm creating, this is like my everyday easy, like fall eyeshadow makeup, like look, you know what I'm saying? Like it is um, like probably like three eyeshadows. Yeah, we're just gonna make sure it's blended. We're good like that. There we go, sorry, I'm like adjusting the camera. Okay, so now we're gonna highlight. For fall time, I actually don't like to over highlight. I like my skin to be a little bit more on the matte side. Um, you know, like the whole matte lip is like super in and that's just how I prefer it. If you wanna pack on that highlighter, then by all means, go ahead and do that. But I like mine a little bit more subtle during fall. And I'm actually taking like my favorite highlighter at the moment. I'm obsessed with this. I've actually had this for quite some time, but obsessed. This is all I've been using lately. It is a Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter. And this one is... Miri, Miri, what? Muru, Muru, Muru butter. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but you know, it is what it is. And I am taking a Morphe F501. I really want to look at what, how you say that highlighter now. I'm stupid. Lately, I just haven't been eating carbs and you need those carbs. I've been pretty stupid lately. But we're just taking some on the brush and we're gonna do this on the cupid's bow. So I I am gonna pack it on the cupid's bow. I'll do a tiny bit on the chin above my eyebrows. I feel like someone's trying to open my door. It's probably my little brothers. And we're gonna do, I do a normal amount on the bridge of my nose. I probably just went like totally cross-eyed right now. Bridge of my nose and tip of my nose like that. And then as far as the cheeks, we're just gonna do the bare minimum. It looks crazy on screen, but I promise it's not that much in person actually. Like people have been telling me like, wow, you're not wearing as much highlighter and it's like, no. I mean, I know it's not fall time yet, but I'm slowly working my way in there. And we're doing the same to this side. This highlighter is just like the perfect gold highlighter. Oh my God, I have something in my eye. Okay, got it. Um, it is like the perfect gold. Like, let me swatch it on my hand. It's like so perfect. Like, do you see that? And then when I swatch it on the back, I don't mean to flip y'all off, but when you swatch it, it's like super, like, I don't know. It just melts into your skin. Like, it does feel like butter. And they smell bomb. They smell like coconut, like your ass is at the beach in freaking Miami or in Mexico or in the Bahamas. It just, it smells amazing. Now we're doing the eyebrows. I'm actually gonna fast forward through the eyebrows, but I am using the Goof Proof Pencil by Benefit Cosmetics. This is like my favorite eyebrow brush at the moment and like pencil but we're gonna take the spoolie brush through them and then we're gonna fill them in and carve them out. But I will be 
skipping through I am planning on getting my eyebrows waxed so I can film an eyebrow tutorial but we're gonna do that like so if you hear background noise I'm sorry my brothers just got home from school they're making hella noise Oh, you're, you're just gonna do that and we're gonna start filling them in I'm actually gonna use this mirror right here let me get a little bit closer you know this day wasn't built to last good on paper picture perfect chase the high too far too fast pick your white pants will be painted black But now that we've done that, I'm taking that same concealer and we're actually going to prime our lids for eyeshadow with that. You want to apply a good amount. And we're going back to that rounded brush. And we're just going to go ahead. I don't know what the heck has been going on with my neck lately. Like, it has just not wanting to like blend out. And it's like right here. I don't know. I don't know, I just don't know what's going on. There you go, doesn't look as bad. But we're just gonna go ahead and start patting that into our eyeballs. Make sure you blend it out nice. Like that. You don't wanna have any like crazy lines or anything. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. My camera decided to, you know, just stop filming. Actually overheated. But now um, I've just set my concealer so we can start working on the eyeshadow. I am taking all oh, these dogs, I'm telling you. I'm taking an oldie but a goodie. It is the Anastasia lavish palette and we're gonna be taking the orange soda and the sienna orange soda comes into comes in a lot of palettes now but i just like this combo right here so we're gonna take orange soda on just like a big blending eyeshadow brush and this is by bh cosmetics we're gonna tap off that excess and we're gonna go ahead and work it into our crease. We're gonna build this color as much as possible, but we're just gonna blend that into our crease. Like so. So the next shade that I am taking, it is that Sienna color and I'm taking this on a Morphe M411 brush, which is like a bigger blending brush. This one's like natural hair though. And we're gonna work that into the crease and just blend it out. I'm gonna do one eye on camera, another one off camera. So just keep blending until you're satisfied. I like more to be more on the grungy 
like messy side for fall. I don't like to be perfect. So keep adding more and more into the crease. Like that. And now I am taking my Dark Matter Stack by Melt. There you go, Melt Cosmetics. And I am gonna be taking, or you know what? I'm actually gonna put some of that Sienna all over my lid first. And then we're gonna go in with my Dark Matter Stack. Let me just find a brush here. This one will work. I'm just taking like a flat brush. This one is the Anastasia like duo ones that come in the palettes. But I'm using this side of a brush. And we're gonna take Sienna. And we're just gonna pack that on. I feel like I'm so awkward doing like these get ready with me talk through videos rather than voiceovers. It's like, what do you talk about? What do you guys want to talk about? But we're just gonna pat that in. We want to take it up to the crease as well and then we're gonna blend it out. Like that. Going back with that same brush. We're just gonna blend that out. Okay, now that that's blended out, now I'm taking my dark matter stack and I'm actually gonna go in with the shade Enigma. It's like this really pretty, like burnt, like reddish, brownish, burgundy ish shade. And I'm gonna be taking a Morphe M433 brush. I should have washed all my brushes before filming. So I'm just using like this, like Veramona thing that cleans them in between shades. So we're gonna be taking that shade. And we're gonna pat that into our lid as well, just to intensify it. Like that. Go back with that brush. Blend it out. Like that. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I like more on the grungy side. If you want to be super extra and you want it to be even grungier, you can take the black from the Dark Matter stack and it is called dark matter and you could put that on the lash line and like kind of like smoke it out you could be very messy with it and just like work your way up These are like my favorite types of looks to do. Okay, so you could do something like that. 
That's just as simple as I will do it. And then let me go do the other eye and I will be right back. Okay, now we're gonna be doing the lower lash line and we are taking that Enigma shade and we're just gonna put that all over the lower lash line. And I'm using a Morphe M432 brush. And we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna blend it out right now. It's almost like if you were like lining your lower lash line. And I just keep packing more and more. And now we're taking the blending side of that Anastasia brush. And we're just gonna blend it out. And like, kind of like blow it out towards the back. Like that. Don't want it to fall. like that and i am gonna take black and i'm gonna get the closest to the lash line as possible and we're also gonna be putting black eyeliner on just keep lining them like that And then you're gonna blend that out. Going back with the back, the other side of the Anastasia brush. Blending that out. And now we're gonna take a black eyeliner. This is an old one, this is by MAC. I don't know which one it is, but we gonna use it. And yeah, just apply eyeliner, black eyeliner to the lower lash line. My eyes always get so watery during this part. I wear contacts, so it's like, it bugs. And then just go back with that black. Like that. If you want to add a little bit more to the top, just so it's a bit darker, you can go ahead. Almost like if you were doing eyeliner. Like I said, the grungier and messy, the better. That's just my opinion. That's how I like doing my smoky eyes. And I'm gonna do the other side and I'll be back again. Okay, so now we're just gonna put some mascara. I'm using the Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. And we're gonna pop on some lashes afterwards. Just do a light coat. And the lashes, I'm gonna apply off camera just because i have to cut them and all that and they're a new set so they're they act you know like little biatches and then they don't want to stick on but i'm putting on mascara on my lower lash line as well you can go a bit more heavy-handed on the lower lash line just because the eyelashes i'm putting on are really dramatic but I am putting on the Flutter Lashes in Intoxicating. These are my favorite freaking lashes ever. They're just so dramatic and amazing. But since I will be doing those off camera, we are moving on to lips. Normally, I would pair this 
it depends if i'm going to work i would probably pair this with a nude lip and a nude gloss just because even with fault time you can't get away with wearing a nude lip and like grungy eyes or like you know like nude eyes and a grungy lip like vice versa but since it is fall time and we're trying to be as extra as possible i am going to be putting on like a burgundy ish lipstick this is the morphe liquid lipstick and nibble and this shade is just so beautiful I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this one on so i actually busted my freaking lip the other day i was putting on decorations with my brother in my room and he gave me a piece of scotch tape and i put it on my lip to try to hold it and like fix whatever i was going to tape down and my lips got stuck on the scotch tape and it ripped my lip and it hurt really bad Don't worry if you mess up because we're going to clean up the lips. My camera is about to die. So if you made any mistakes, you can go ahead and fix them right now. like that i'm gonna grab that concealer brush that i used and then i'm gonna use whatever was left over to clean the edges Isn't this shade like just so beautiful? It's like one of my favorite lipsticks. I'm obsessed with it during fall. But let me put the eyelashes on and I will be right back. All right, so I've popped on the eyelashes. They are just amazing. I just love these eyelashes so much. But we are finished. Last thing we're gonna do is throw on some Fix Plus and we're just gonna go ahead and Spray some on our face. You don't want to do too much just because we're trying to keep the skin matte. But this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you guys want me to do more talk throughs, get readies with me, then just go ahead and comment down below and also put down your suggestions as to what tutorials you guys would like to see for Halloween. I love you guys. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.